Hi everyone, I'm Dina Proctor. I'm a life coach, a podcast host, an inspirational speaker, and author of the best-selling book, Madly Chasing Peace, How I Went From Hell to Happy in Nine Minutes a Day. Thank you for tuning in and watching my video. I just want to take a few minutes and introduce you to my work, tell you a little bit about my story, and of course, describe to you what 3 by 3 meditation is and how it works. So let me kind of give you a, an, an overview here. I'm going to talk to you about hitting rock bottom in my life and going through a period of addiction and depression. And I want to share what I've gone through because I believe that it helps so many. But I also want to encourage you that if that isn't your story and you're just looking to have a breakthrough in another area completely, whether it's a relationship or whether it's a weight loss or some sort of um, healthy body exercise or to attract more abundance in your life. I believe that meditation in general and three by three meditation for those who resonate with it is an extremely powerful way to have breakthroughs in any area of your life that you're looking for. So sit back and listen and just hear what the possibility is and how powerful meditation can be for real practical results. So towards the end of the year 2008 is when I hit my emotional rock bottom in my life. I had spent years in and out of clinical depression. I had gone to therapy. I had changed jobs. I had done everything I could think of to try and fix myself and fix my life. And nothing was working and I ended up horrifically addicted to alcohol. And I reached a point where I just did not want to live anymore. Hitting that rock bottom ended me up kind of unintentionally, but that's another story altogether, in an addiction recovery program. And this is where my healing first began to take place. Because when I chose a coach to take me through the addiction recovery program, one of the first instructions she gave me was to learn how to meditate. And I remember looking at her, um, really? meditate? How is that any sort of anything that would do any sort of anything for me? How is this supposed to contribute to my healing? What does that even mean to learn to meditate? And I opened my mind though because I had tried so many things to fix myself. I was out of answers and this was a brand new solution for me. I figured I would just try it. Her instruction to me specifically was to sit still every morning for 20 minutes and focus on my breathing. And I thought, how hard could that be? I bet I could do it, you know? And I started within a couple of days of that instruction. I sat down and I put a timer on and I had full intention to sit still and focus on my breathing for 20 minutes. But what happened was I had, was going through addiction withdrawal, alcohol withdrawal at the time. So I, my body was shaking and sweating and detoxing and my mind was filled with horrific, negative thoughts and I could not sit still for longer than three minutes at a time. That morning three minutes was my max and I recognized that it was intolerable, intolerable for me to sit for longer than three minutes. So I got up because I couldn't physically sit any longer than that and went on with my day. Well a couple of hours later it occurred to me you know what, I bet I could sit for three more minutes. I bet I could do that again. So I sat and focused on my breathing, however imperfectly, for another three minutes or so. And a couple hours after that, I thought, I bet I could do another three minutes. So this ended up eventually evolving into the meditation practice that I call three by three meditation. All I was trying to do in the beginning was accomplish 20 minutes total by the end of the day so I could call my coach and say, you know, I did it. I was able to follow your instruction and get 20 minutes in. And it came out not in the way that I would have wanted it to, but it's turned out to be the huge, great gift that I have used to transform my life in this little three minutes at a time practice. Now, when I was writing my book and sharing this, I kind of felt that nine minutes a day, three minutes at a time sounds a little hokey or a little cheesy or a little salesy. And I was not at all coming from that place. I had experienced transformation, healing from addiction. I had dropped weight. I had lowered my cholesterol using visualization within my three by three meditation practice. It was so clear to me having the breakthroughs that I had in relationships, in financial status, anything that I wanted to have a breakthrough in, I used my little three minute 
three times a day method to get my mindset in alignment first and then experience the physical results in my body, in my relationships, or in my reality. Um, what I what I did when I was writing the book was I thought since that sounds kind of unrealistic or a little bit salesy, I wanted to have someone grounding and a, you know kind of a really insightful, smart person to interview who could validate why on earth this three minutes at a time was so effective. So the person I chose was um, Dr. Bruce Lipton. He's the best-selling author of a book called Biology of Belief, which is truly amazing to read. He's a well, well-regarded cell biologist. And when I got on the phone with him, I didn't know if he was going to laugh at me. I didn't know if he was going to completely debunk everything that I was ready to send my message out into the world. And I just told him, I said, listen, I have been practicing this three minute, three times a day practice. I've had breakthroughs in my, you know, healing of my body and my cholesterol. I've dropped weight. I lost seven pounds in 10 days at one point. I've healed from addiction, rewired my relationships pretty completely, uh, really amazing. And I was gearing up to bring this book out into the world, all prepared by these three minutes at a time. And what he told me, he did laugh, <laughs> but he told me, you know what, Dina, I think that that's actually one of the most powerful things and most effective things you could possibly even do. Because what you're doing is interrupting that subconscious programming, that subconscious tape that's going ceaselessly all the time through our minds. You're interrupting that and putting in a new thought pattern three times a day for three minutes. And when you interrupt, especially that middle of the day meditation, that's the most powerful one because that's usually when our mind chatter is going the strongest, right? So it's it's very powerful to interrupt that middle of the day one and introduce a new thought or at least a stress relief so that we're not immersed in that mind chatter 24 hours a day we're breaking it up and he said slowly but surely constantly and consistently that's why this may have been actually more effective for the change you wanted to make than if you had been able to sit for 20 minutes at a time because the meditation for me is not something that I do to you know I don't check it off my to-do list you know I brushed my teeth I worked out I took a shower I meditated I'm off to start my day for me, the meditation is more of a state of mind. It's a state of being. And what he explained to me is that when you're interrupting that old mind chatter and that subconscious tape, as he called it, you have the opportunity to put in new mindsets, new ideas. You, you have the opportunity for brand new possibilities to take root. And when you want to change an idea, a habit, um, anything that you want to have transformation in your life, it needs to start with mindset first because willpower will get you certain results, but it's kind of like having adrenaline always in your system. It's powerful when you need it, but it's not a sustainable answer. So the, you know, gritting your teeth and having willpower through your life in making the changes you want to may be a good jump start, but it's not sustainable. That's where the mindset training comes in. That's where these little three minute breaks come in because that's what's rewiring the way you think about it. And you move from being in a motivation, willpower attitude into a true inspiration. You are one with what you wanna create. You are inspired from the inside to, to do the ritual or have the breakthrough that you want to create for yourself. So I just wanted to share with you a little bit because a lot of people ask, how on earth is three minutes at a time even effective? So I hope that this has been helpful for you to hear what I've gone through. I'd love to share with you further. If you keep tuning in for my videos, I'll have more tips for you on how to use three minute meditations for real practical results in your life.